between scene June. Unicorn Squishies. Hi tweens! Our last project for the month of June is going to be these cute little unicorn squishies. It doesn't take much to um, figure out what's going on here. It's not a complex craft, but you're going to get one plain white unicorn and a couple of Sharpie permanent markers. One will be metallic, here I've got gold, and one will be a just a pretty pastel uh, or vibrant color. Basically, you're going to use your markers to color your unicorn however you would like. Um, I think the metallics look really good for the wings and the horn, but you can use it wherever on your unicorn you want. The metallic markers give very good coverage as you can see here. I'm going over this one a second time because I had done it in a while for a while back and um, after you uh, squish it around for a while the some of the marker will rub off on your hands. Not noticeably at the time but after a while you notice it fading on your unicorn. Um, you can do whatever design you want. It's your project. Uh, I decided I like my unicorns. When I think of them, I tend to think of them as white horses. Um, so I'm going to leave most of the body of mine white. After I'm done with its horn right here, giving that a little touch up. The permanent marker shouldn't, once it's dried, shouldn't rub off on your hands too much. Uh, not so it's noticeable, but as I said, it will fade over time. So. Hang on to your markers. You can give it touch-ups when you want. I'm going to use my light blue marker here. It's kind of a periwinkle color. And I'm going to give him some light blue ears. These markers don't show up as well. If you have uh, different colors of permanent markers at home, feel free to use them. I would not use paint because it will chip off. Um, the other kinds of markers or pens may not stick as well, may not show up as well either, and will definitely rub off unless they are permanent. I'm After I do his little ears there, I'm going to leave his mane and tail white. And then I think I'm going to do some designs on him, kind of like how the Care Bears are. I'm going to give them a little heart on one side. And uh, I think I'll do a lightning bolt on the other. Darken that in a little bit. So maybe this unicorn's name is Lightning or something like that. All right, well, there you have it. Feel free to use your imagination and design as much as you want. There's another one that I did where I gave him some uh, colored feet. And remember, only use permanent markers. Never use um, pens or markers that uh, will rub off otherwise if it's not permanent, like those. Very nice for other purposes, but not for your unicorn. All right, that's all for now, tweens. See you in July.